Welcome back once again to Jack's Tech Corner. I'm your host Jack, and if you're new to the show, then welcome aboard. Glad you can stop by and hopefully learn some Photoshop elements and uh, how to actually do some editing with your pictures. And I can say Happy New Year to everybody. Uh, it's another great uh, new year here in 2011. And hopefully you're going to stick with me all year, subscribe to the shows, and through this year we'll learn. Uh, it seems kind of odd that I've been posting these YouTube videos for quite a few years now. If you go back through the videos, uh, it's, it's, and I'm glad that everybody's sticking with me. Uh, the subscriptions have been great, so uh, please keep subscribing to the show. So today we are going to talk about how to create a contact sheet. Now, Everybody, I'm probably sure, has uh, maybe played around with contact sheets, but I'm going to put a little twist on it uh, today and show you a nice way to save that as a file uh, so you can use that later on. Or actually uh, even email it maybe to a client uh, or to family or friends and uh, allow them to pick out pictures that you want them to have developed or uh, you know contact you and say, hey, I'd like to have these printed off. So what we're going to start with here, we are going to start in the organizer and we're going to grab some pictures. We're going to open those pictures up in the editor. So I'll just grab this row of pictures here. I'll right click on here and we are going to simply open these pictures up in our editor. Now, as you can see here along the top on the tabs, each picture is open in, uh, individually. Now, what you can do here is go back through here and you can edit these. You know, so you're working for a client, you're doing your edits. Um, we'll just do a, a quick edit here uh, just to show you that uh, you could do some quick editing. Uh, we're going to auto level it. Uh, that looks really bad. <laughs> Maybe we'll take that off. Just re undo that edit. Uh, you can auto level contrast, lighting. You know, we've talked about this. Auto color. Seems to want to leave it black. Let's just leave it black for right now for this demonstration. And uh, we'll just get back out of here. So we have our edits all done and you're ready to go ahead and send these to your client. Now, you can save them and I'm sure individually email these to somebody, which is going to take you quite a while. Or you can create what's known as a contact sheet and email that sheet. But instead of taking the contact sheet and uh, printing it, like I said, we're going to email it. So what we're going to do here is take these pictures, go to File, Contact Sheet, and just simply click on that. This is going to give us some options. Use Open Documents. That's what we want to do. You can also change this and use a folder if you just want to pick out a folder on your computer. But we're going to use the open documents because we've been working for the client. We're getting everything set up here. 8, and eight by 10 uh, is the total document size in inches. The resolution is 300 pixels. You can change that if you wish. I suggest just leave it at 300. A contact sheet is very much um, like proofs. You know, they're not the highest quality. Uh, they just want to give the general idea to the viewer of what they may want to pick up. Now columns, you can do this however you want, uh, four across uh, by three rows, three rows down, four columns across. Uh, we can change this by three by six, if we want to do three by six, however you really want to do this. So once you have that done, simply click OK, and you'll see here it's going to start taking those documents and placing them onto a new file, and it's going to be called Contact Sheet. So there we have it. They're all on here. The names are on here. And I suggest to make sure the names stay on there because when somebody calls you, if it's a client, and they say, we want the DSC underscore 0136, you'll know that that is the picture that they want you to have uh, developed for them. Uh, so just I would say, suggest leave the names on those. It never hurts. Now what we want to do is we want to actually print this. But we're going to have to go to print do a couple steps and then we can save it and I'm going to show you how to save this. So I'm going to close these ones out up here. All my edited pictures. Uh, I'm just going to click on here. Uh, we're going to say don't save on that one. 
That was the one that we actually did the basic edit. You probably would want to save them if you're doing a bunch of edits. So we're going to close these out. So all we have left here is the contact sheet itself. So the contact sheet is set up. We're going to go to File and Print just like we normally would. Now, here's the catch. I am working on a Mac right now. You can see this is my Mac. But in Windows, you're going to select a printer. And we're going to be able to select a printer called Qt PDF. Now, this is a free program. Let's go down here to my web browser. It's at QtPDF.com. You just download the free file right here. It's Windows 7 ready. Uh, so if you have Windows 7 or XP, it works on all of them just uh, fine. Go ahead and click that and go ahead and download it. You don't need the professional version. The free version works absolutely fine. You'll download it and install it. Now when you install it, it's going to tell you that you need another add-on program called Ghostwriter. Accept that as a default and let it also install Ghostwriter. It's just another part of creating a PDF. So we'll go ahead and close this. So you would select up here Qt PDF Writer. But we're, going to, we're on the Mac, so we're just going to leave it as that printer. Then we'll hit Print. What happens now on the Mac is you have the printer up here. <clears throat> we also have PDF. We want to save this as a PDF. Contact Sheet 01. It's a good enough name. You can name this whatever you want. And then simply click on Save. We're going to replace one. I, I created one earlier, so we're going to replace that. Okay, so now we have a file that's suitable for emailing without having to email all those other files. And it is right here. We're going to open that up. And I'll blow this up a little bit so you can see it. Let's pull this out just a little bit. And there you have it. There's your pictures on one PDF file that we can now take and actually email it out. So on Windows, it's going to be the same thing. Just like I said, under Printer, select Qt PDF Writer. And you will actually be able to create <coughs> a PDF file and actually send that out. Just close this out here. Okay, folks. So if you've enjoyed this video, please check out my website, jackstechcorner.com, and pick up a copy of the DVD here. There's a lot of great Photoshop Elements tutorials on there, folks. Um, I spent a lot of time over the years putting these DVDs together. So you have a lot to work with and a lot to learn. They're very high resolution. All you got to do is simply click on the pull down menu at the top and select what you want and it will put it into your shopping cart. Hit add to cart and go through the normal process of purchasing the DVD. The three volume set is the best value. If not, there's also a donate button. You could donate to the show. And we have this over here, our forums. A lot of people on the forums discuss back and forth of, you know, what's going on in Photoshop Elements, uh, what we can do. Um... There's the YouTube channel with all the videos. So uh, Jack's Tech Corner is a nice place to come just to uh, be directly linked into all the videos. The show blog, which I don't do a whole lot with, uh, follow me on Twitter. You can do that. If you follow me on Twitter when I post a new video, it gets posted right to Twitter. So it's really nice. You'll see it on there and you'll see uh, Jack's Tech Corner post a new video. Uh, you're good to go. Uh, or become a fan uh, on Facebook and join our fan page. So, folks, thank you very much for continuing to watch uh, Jack's Tech Corner. I really enjoy doing these videos for you. I enjoy working with Photoshop Elements, uh, taking pictures, uh, you know, being an amateur-type photographer and an uh, amateur-type editor. But uh, I enjoy working with you. Again, have a great start of 2011, and hopefully you'll subscribe to the shows and we'll continue working together. So until next time, keep those cameras, shutters, <laughs> keep those shutters clicking, Keep the editors editing. I'll see you back here very soon on Jack's Tech Corner. Bye for now.